Hey guys! Sorry about that little little screen being in the way. But, anyway, we are about to enter... Well, I guess it would, be make, it would make sense to recap the last episode. Sorry if I'm a little frazzled, I just recorded this episode and found that my recorder uh, did not agree with the idea of recording this episode. So, there's that. I'm hoping this recording ends up better than the last, and by better I mean existent. But in the last episode, we ventured from... Give it a while. We ventured from this village over here, which actually I think is named Kakariko Village. I did say in the last episode, or two episodes ago, that I do know the name of this place, and I don't remember if I actually said the name of this place, so I do believe it is named Kakariko Village. We came over here to find the elder in this double house, who did not exist in the double house. So we came down to the a little area and met a little boy. A little boy, after a bit of discussion, told us where the elder actually resided, which he was keeping secret from all the bad guys, which is in this house over here, and this elder uh, wants jewelry. So, we need to get him his pendant from the eastern palace, which is right here! So, without much further ado, as you can see my my rupees, and I have a bomb, and I have arrows, <laughs> and life has been used. Uh, this is the second time that I've tried to record this, as you can probably tell. But I will not be using the arrow until the actual time that we would have actually had it. So do not worry, I will not be using it. I will not be skipping anything important. Don't worry. And yes, I've done this enough times before to know exactly how to play this all out. Okay. You want to watch this because there will sometimes be a big bomb, big, big bubble, big old Betty right there. Big Betty bomb bubble. 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 Big Betty bomb Oh, what am I doing? Anyway, you want to come over here to the right. I don't remember if left works. I just remember doing the right so many times. Or the left. Jesus. Ow. I don't know if the right works because I only remember using left so often. Instinct, I tried left, I never tried right, because I just don't care to try. Anyway, you got these skeletons here. If you try to swing your sword at them, they'll jump back, so I find it easier to just use your boomerang. It's just a bit faster. That way, also, if they drop anything, you can just immediately pick it up, because the boomerang actually carries things back to you. This room is full of pop up skeletons, and if you use these pots and some somewhat decent aim, you can take them all out. However, obviously, I suck. Eh, good. It's boomerang. No, not that button. Boomerang. Why did it shoot that way? Oh, there we go. There we go. Ah, some arrows. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright. Here we go. This tile here will tell you some very useless information. The treasure in this place helps you defeat armored foes. Actually, that's not useless. Why did I call it useless? I don't know. Unfortunately, despite all you might want to try, you just cannot. So, that we'll go over here, and you will discover if you're playing this for the first time and not having died. This will be locked, and I'm going to go show you guys what's actually over here. Just go away. God damn. Ah, you wanna come down here. Come back here. Here we go. Blink's playing peekaboo. 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 Peace in the way. You wanna hit this button and turn back and go up here. Because in here, we'll find some pots. Ah. And some skeletons. Skeleton. Okay, there we go. Oh, a bomb. That's nice. No! Oh, get back here. And one of these skeletons will have a... Or not. Oh, because I already did this. Shit. That's right. One of those skeletons will have a key, which will open up... Oh, go away. We'll open up this door. You go in here. And we're back in the first, I guess, main room. Technically, there was a little anteroom. Ante room on the hype. I don't actually know how you pronounce that, but it's A N T E R E R O O M. You want to come in here, defeat all the enemies, 
to show you. Also, for the rupees, I don't mind it. Oh, and these guys! These! The armored foes that that tile had been telling us about. That sounds strange. But it's true, the tile told us about it. He is an asshole because he takes a lot of hits. Or one pot to the face, which I prefer. Just a personal preference that I have. So, defeat all the enemies and the four uh, skulls. Ow! Ow! Four skulls that were surrounding this pot are now gone. Oop, wrong button. Remove the pot. And this chest will have appeared. It will not naturally be here. Should have said that first. But yes, this pot will not be here until you remove that pot that was holding up down that button. Once you get it, you can, you, it will hold the master key, which you can use to get in here. Once you're in here, you can push this out of the way. Once you push that out of the way, you can, well, you could always have gone over this way, I suppose. But once you get out of the, once you get that out of the way, you can open up this chest, which will contain the bow and arrow. So now, now I can use the bow and arrow, which is just a good feeling. So let's get the bow and arrow now. There we go. Never mind. Let's get out the lamp. Night highway in the darkness. And I'm not gonna bother with these guys because I already have killed them and there's no need to show how to kill them because I've already shown you. Uh, if you go in here, there will be a ton. Uh, I don't know if they'll still be here. Nope, I already got them. There's, there's a 3x6 array of blue rupees. So 6x3 is 18 times 5. There's 90 rupees in here for you to get, so that's good. That's a good time. Oh, hello! Ah! Try and get past this guy as fast as we can. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. So this is dangerous. <laughs> and before last recording, this was the blind part. So, however, despite the fact that I've already played it, you unfortunately had missed my part. Oh, wake up. I know which one to kill. Oh, excuse me. I know which one to kill. It says me down right now. Hit his button. And you're good. Just for the sake of practice, I guess. I was doing that. For the sake of practice, surely. And now this room scared the poop out of me when I first came upon it. Although I did find that this is a safe area, so if you ever have to find a place to just kind of rest, this is a good place to go. I believe the good button's down here. Or I'll miss it. That's cool. Or that's not the button at all. Good. There's the button. Top left. <sighs> so, with that, we are into the almost boss room. Actually, there we go. We're at the button. This guy's a bit of a jerk. He's a little bit faster, and he takes two hits. <sighs> Yay! I tried to do that last time, and it didn't work. So I don't know if that's just not possible, or if I'm just dumb. But, yes, as you can probably assume, or at least I can show you on the mini-map, the room above us is the boss room. So I'm going to take these guys out. Ow. Not ow. Why did I say ow? That was dumb. Let's wake up. Oh, I guess they have a wider uh, waking range. I don't know what else to call it. But, with that, the boss lies ahead. And I do want, and I do not want the boss to be cut off, because I only have a minute of time of recording left. So, we'll end off the episode here, and I will see you guys in the next time we fight the boss. What his name is, I do not know. However, we will be fighting them. And yes, I did say them. See you guys in the next episode.